sunshine out here huh it's beautiful huh wow this building's a little um different from yesterday i literally waited at home until three i'm like i'm waiting until the sun's on north face oh cool it's getting there another lap Boy. i can actually see everything it's so weird it is kind of different from yesterday <laughs> yeah yesterday was so good though Ooh. i know man it's like even when you can't see nothing if the snow's I was, that good who cares i was like Point the sleeper it. saturday no one here just untracked out it's here? It's crazy, man. I was getting fresh tracks like out on the knuckles until three in the afternoon. Cool, all right. I'll let you go first. I'm doing it. Yeah. We're doing it, indeed. I was so excited to get up here on a sunny day, and I made it. Here we are. Skittering in. Look, you can see every little bit and pieces, all the pieces and parts. I do like blowing by the tourists who are gripped in fear. There's three on the left and one guy there. I mean, they could be, who knows who they are. Showing them how to get her done. Look, you can just see each chunk. And like I was saying, actually I said at later, uh, anyway, I was gonna say these skis are pretty much my highest end performance skis and that I haven't hit a speed limit on them. Like they're just, cause they're quite stiff and the bindings are back technically the X106s are pretty good. They are good. They ride smoothly, but I keep pushing through them. Like I started like kind of like those conditions on those skis, I would have blown through them. Like I'm heavy, I'm like 220 pounds. And I was over riding them a few times. And then the Storm Riders, if I had a bigger pair, hint, hint, I think they would be the ticket. But these things, look at these things. They're not quite as stiff as a two by four. but they put in the bindings are a hair back and I got the long rocker in front of so you can just smash that tail. So this day was going great. The sun was coming around the corner and I actually got three or four sweet runs with the sun on the spines and whatever. But uh, my coat, my GoPro was pushing on my coat weird. Look at this fresh line. Never did this one exactly like this. I always get sucked in on that right hand line and this one, look at this sitting there. You don't see it in the flat light though, seriously. Anyway, point of the story is my GoPro was, it was bad footage. Couldn't use it. Sad story. First world problem. But I did get some new skis today. We're going to go take a look at them real quick. So, I was at the U ski store. Look at these guys. I ended up getting them for 105 instead of 130. These are the four front Devastators. Devastators with these Solomon 16 bindings on them. Are you kidding me? 100 bucks. So these, they're kind of a center mount. They're not crazy, too crazy. I think they're gonna work. I really am feeling good about these skis. Look at this, I got a long, Flat, looks like it's flat, reverse camber sort of thing. Devastator. So that's a pretty good deal. And then these, exact opposite, and these are pretty kind of spongy, soft feeling. Opposite would be these Black Diamond Broncos, plaid, whatever that means. 95 bucks with these Solomon backcountry bindings. And these things are stiff, cambered, side cut, traditional ski. These things are beasts, actually. Like, these are stiff. They're just like, oh my god. I think these things might be all right. So, I got a couple 
well, who knows? I might have these skis forever. This might be my new favorite pair of skis. Ski a million times. Uh, so stoked on that. Final side project. This one's fun. I got this chart of Hawaii. An actual sea chart. And then laminated it in to this piece of wood. I got this thing. So I got to finish this. I got a little blob of epoxy. Then I epoxy laminated it in here. I got to sand these chunks and do a final buff. And then get this edge all shiny. That's my other world. We're not talking, talking skis. Look at these things. I like you can see the, the whatever, the core inside there. So, wow, smoking deal. I actually went to the, get some used. I was looking for used bibs because I'm cheap. My other bibs all ripped apart. I didn't really have any bibs and I found these skis. So, 100, less than 200 bucks. Two sets of skis. Stoked.